Tonight we are cooking an extremely crazy four course meal, extravagant beyond belief. <laughs> I feel like this was an explosion of food in the best way possible. Welcome to Chicago Magazine's In the Kitchen Live. My name is Emily Johnson. Tonight I'm joined by Giancarlo Valera, chef at Tanta, an amazing proven restaurant here in Chicago. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you very much, Emily. Tonight we are cooking an extremely crazy four course meal, extravagant beyond belief. Okay, so let's start with the first course. What are we gonna make? So we have our tiradito Nikkei. We're gonna fold the tuna, place the tuna around the plate, with the sauce around. Okay, that looks beautiful already. Add a little bit of the pickled veggies that we have here. Carrots, cucumbers, daikon, uh, the avocado, this avocado we just slice it. Little bit of sesame seeds. We have some white and black. Sprinkle on top of your tuna. Seaweed, put on top of our tuna. You can feel the texture of the fish, the freshness of the fish. That is beautiful. That's really beautiful. I'm excited. I wanna try some of this avocado too. That is amazing. So the idea is like you imagine that you are in a Caribbean beach mm -hmm. with a nice cold Yeah, beer. the passion fruit is really... Right. Second course. We're gonna do the causa. Peruvian potato salad. A little bit of oil. Have your octopus. We're gonna use the octopus. Now the next step, we're gonna wrap your potato, your potatoes in the piping back. So we're gonna do this. Oh, wow. That is a very fancy snake. <laughs> uh, let me see your I snakes. I want to see, I want to see, I see everyone snakes else's snakes. <laughs> oh, I think they're working on it. Oh, that one is awesome. No, no That's good. yours. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it looks perfect. So all parts of octopus are seared. So we're going to place the octopus on top of the potatoes. What's in the potatoes that makes them green? Peruvian pesto. And next we're going to do the chimichurri. We're going to add it on top of the, the octopus. I love chimichurri. Yeah, it's very good. Like This chimichurri is made with parsley, oregano, vinegar, and piquillo peppers. Give you, it's not, it's not, they're not spicy, so you can eat it. It's more flavor than spiciness. Mm -hmm. We have this olive, olive sauce. We're just layering tons of flavor on the octopus. Yes. Now we're gonna put the flowers, make it pretty. It's a special night, so yeah. we're gonna make it pretty and nice. Fried kale. I'm gonna put it like this. Oh wow, like little trees. The little trees. I love it. They're gonna also look pretty, but also give you texture in the dish. Oh my gosh, this is a work of art. This is very it. impressive. <laughs> is everyone very impressed with this dish that they're making right now? All right, I don't even know where to dig in. When I saw this menu, I was like, are we really gonna make both of these dishes for the third course? Because this just seems insane to me. But. <laughs> What are we gonna be making for the third course? We have the both main courses, right? So we're right. gonna start with the lomo saltado, Peruvian's most popular and favorite dish. Oh, fun. At the restaurant, it's like, the, we can do like 300 on the weekend. Oh my gosh. Yeah, it's like, it's crazy, but Is yeah, this the one I you were it. telling me you cook over the fire in a walk? Exactly, yeah. <laughs> we're gonna add the canola oil. I can smell the oil. Oh yeah, that's a good sound. Ah, okay, that's the sound you wanna hear. Okay, so you're gonna place the beef around the pan, right? So you have a nice color there. Just make sure you sear the beef in every side. 20 seconds, 25 seconds, but now it comes to whatever temperature you like, you know? I, I like it medium, right? I don't know. That's how I like it as well. Like it. We're gonna remove the beef just for okay. a little bit. We want a medium rare, so we don't wanna just keep cooking it. How yeah. do you feel when people come to Tonta and order their beef well done? I mean, we do whatever, I mean, they like it. They like <laughs> no, it well done. No, have a drink and then tell me the drink. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, my dad orders every time well done. He does? Yes. You haven't, know, every time, you haven't showed him No, I don't say anything to him, no, but I'm like, you know, I ordered a meal right here, ordered well done. So you have this pen like this, you have all the flavor from the, yes. the beef there, right? So the gonna, font. Yes, I learned that from YouTube. So you're gonna add the onions oh, okay. and tomatoes. You're gonna add a little bit of oil if you need it. It depends, getting dry. Oh, it smells so good in here. So you're gonna wait for around 30 seconds, 40 seconds. So the onions and tomatoes, Change the color and tomatoes get a little soft, okay. but not too soft, right? I see. So you want to saute the vegetables a little bit and then add the beef back. Yes. So Got it. Now we're adding the beef back right here. I'm learning. Now we have to be very quick. Okay. You're gonna pass Speed it up, everybody. Here we have soy sauce. Mm -hmm. We have oyster sauce. Ooh, I love oyster sauce. And white vinegar. Ooh, okay. It sounds our Chinese influence. Yeah. I love all of the influences that have been traveling through this meal so far. It's really amazing. That's the moment for the chicken slurry. Chicken stock and cornstarch, all right. 
And we're gonna add like a two teaspoons. The chicken slurry moment. So now our sauce is gonna be nice, shiny. Wow, smooth. it really is. Yes, that looks amazing. Oh, ooh. There you go. We're gonna add the cilantro and onions around. It looks beautiful with the green now too. Very colorful dish, I like it. Finally, we're gonna add the garlic. You add the garlic in the beginning, maybe it's gonna burn. So our taku taku, our chicken, our potatoes, it should be ready. I forgot about the chicken. That's what's crazy about this course. We were eating this amazing beef tenderloin stir fry and a roast chicken with potatoes and taco tacos. We're just gonna grab the taco taco, right? So it's uh, rice and beans. Rice and beans, and olive oil, and chili pepper. And we're gonna pour the, our lomo saltado, oh, just like that. Oh, I Yay. see that beef goes on top of the taco taco. Yes, you got I'm finally catching on. And we're gonna make some eggs. I really need to practice more. Mine never look that good. And then your egg is ready. You gotta do the perfect bite. You gotta okay. have the tongue taco taco, the beef, and the joke over here. Oh, oh. my God. <laughs> That is unbelievably delicious. There's so much flavor in there. It's so savory, it's so rich, but not like overpoweringly rich. It is perfectly balanced. Yeah, I, lo I love it. <laughs> I, I can that. see why this is your favorite. <laughs> it made me dance. Love, thank you, so good, so good. Everyone's very happy. How can nice. you not be happy with this? But no, there's more. We have a second round of the third course. Okay, chicken right here. Making, this is the perfect the Sunday dish, yeah. This chicken, it's a process of three days. Oh wow. We brine it. It takes three days to make the chicken? Yes. Oh my goodness. Wow, that looks beautiful. We have Double three sauces. Oh yeah, the it, sauces. So when you're in Peru and you order chicken, you're gonna get a bunch of sauces with it? Yes, a bunch of sauces. No, I, I order extra sauces. That's my, yeah. you're my kind of person. I love the sauces. The quinoa you sprinkle on top. Of the salad. Of the salad. All right. Nice source of protein and fiber. One, two, three sauces. Oh, that's it. I'm very into this triple sauce situation. Here we go, the perfect bite. I will eat this every Sunday. <laughs> Amazing. Oh my God, those sauces are so good. They're so creamy and delicious. Let's try the dessert. Yeah. Let me go get it from the freezer. I see more flowers. More flowers, I love flowers. You have this container, it's a chocolate mousse. We're gonna use also this little container with caramelized quinoa. Sprinkle the quinoa on top of the chocolate mousse. That's gonna add really good crunch, I have a feeling. Yes. Now the chocolate mousse is hiding. It's a surprise. Yes, a surprise. All the berries there, you have raspberries and blackberries, chocolate meringues. Mm. Little right. mini ones. Little mini chocolate meringues. This one is my favorite Peruvian dessert. So these are Peruvian cookies. So yes, we're gonna put it just like that. Wow, does that one have caramel inside? Yes, inside we have dulce de leche. We oh, dulce de leche. So now we're gonna add our flowers. I don't even know how to eat this. There's cookies One and cookie first. Cookie first, okay. Yes. Oh, nice. Oh my gosh. <laughs> the quinoa is incredible. Yeah. Do you think it still has the same health benefits at this point than it did <laughs> before? I think so. This was so good. I feel like this was an explosion of food in the best way possible. Thank you so, so much for being here. I do wanna thank our sponsors one last time. We wanna thank Con Egg Rub, Stella Artois, U Chicago Medicine, and 90 Plus Sellers. And I wanna thank all of you guys for following along. Thank you so, so much. The next In The Kitchen Live, October 8th, with Chris Pandel. This was Thank you very much incredible. You. Thank you very I much. <laughs> loved Hope everybody. You, Tanta. Oh wow. yeah, I'll be there. <laughs> Thanks everybody, Thank enjoy you. the rest of your meal. Thank you everybody. Bye. Thank you.